Hey. Hi, babe. Um, so my check tire pressure light is on in my car. Again? Yeah. So I don't think I have like a flat tire or anything, but I'm just saying the light's on. Okay. All right. Um, I'm just letting you know. Okay, is the car unlocked? Yeah. I ride down there shortly and I give you a call. Okay. Or text you or something. All right. Okay. All right, bye. All right, bye. Um, <laughs> freaking check tire pressure light is on again. It was on all last week. This is so bad. <laughs> well, okay. My check tire pressure light was on all week last week, and I just like ignored it because I feel like every time a light comes on in your car, you just ignore it, right? Is that or is that just me? I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> I thought my tires were fine until I was on the way to my hair appointment last week and all of a sudden I was like broom, broom, broom. I was like I definitely have a flat tire like, it just came out of nowhere <laughs> I say it came out of nowhere I, the light was literally on for a week but anyway I was late to my hair appointment my mom had to end up bringing me to the hair appointment and now my check tire light is on again so I decided I should probably go ahead and call my dad and let him know before I get another flat tire. But it was so weird. It looked like someone had literally slashed my tire. Like it wasn't like I hit a pothole or like I hit a nail that, you know, made my tire have no air. It looked like someone literally slashed the tire. It was so weird. But anyway, happy Wednesday. I just thought this whole time that it was Tuesday like I could have sworn it was Tuesday I have no idea what's wrong with me but anyway I'm starting off a new vlog I just got Starbucks I got a large or a venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew it's my go-to order I literally can't order anything else from Starbucks at coffee wise that's just always gonna be the vibe especially when they make it like right with a bunch of sweet cream in it then it's like perfect but yeah, happy Wednesday. I wanna show y'all my nails. I got these done probably like a week ago, but they're just little pink French tips. They're almond shaped. I did get a tip put on because my nails are so short. They just looked so bad. But I feel like a new person with these. I feel like every once in a while you just need your nails done. I used to get my nails done all the time and then I stopped because I felt like it's kind of unnecessary like I can just grow my own nails out and put like a clear coat on them and just make them look really healthy and you know make them look nice myself but every once in a while you just need a little pick me up also it's very expensive to get your nails done often so I'll probably keep these and then I'll probably get a fill and then whenever I get the fill I'll probably just take them off after that time and just have like my natural nails whenever they grow out that's the plan at least for the nail situation so I don't know I guess my dad's gonna come to work and like come figure out this tire pressure issue so I don't have another flat tire that was a disaster last time I was literally late for my hair appointment because I had a flat tire but anyway happy Wednesday I'm gonna try to vlog this week I just feel like my day-to-day -day life is very mundane and boring and I feel like there's not really much to vlog but I'm gonna try this week just to vlog like my day-to-day -day. even the stuff that I think is boring maybe you guys will find entertaining so anyway hope you enjoy this vlog and let's have a great Oh my gosh, how cute is my dog? Oh my god, he's so peaceful.
for my brother's little birthday dinner. It was so good. We went to the Cheesecake Factory. We were going to go to Con Key, but they were closed for whatever reason. And I feel a cold sore coming on right here, like randomly. I just felt it and it's already like bubbling up a little bit. It just happened so quick. Like, ah, so annoying, but don't worry. Do not worry. I've got plenty of pills. These are my mom's like prescription pills for her fever blisters. I really need some myself, but I really don't get fever blisters as much as I used to, but I still get them sometimes. So I'm not really sure why this one come up. I think maybe because I've been in the sun recently. Sometimes when I'm in the sun and my body like overheats, then I will get them. So maybe that's why, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm stressed. But anyway, just got home. I just wore white, pants i got these from j crew um on like the sale rack i got these for literally five dollars a couple years ago so honestly best purchase ever this little cardigan that i wear all the time and this little zara tank top and i obviously buttoned it up because i couldn't walk out of the house like this my mom would kill me i'm so excited right now i just got this package in the mail from this ring it is so I'm not sure if the camera's even focused. Let me just turn it around. But the ring is from Lane Woods Jewelry. I need to show y'all closer up. How freaking pretty. So Lane Woods is a company that has Mossonite jewelry. So if you are looking to add to your stack, if you're married, or maybe if you're engaged or something, and you're looking to add to your stack, check out Lane Woods. Obviously, Mossonites are a lot more affordable than a regular diamond, but this is 14 karat gold plated with obviously Mossonites. And it's so pretty. I really want a couple more so I can stack it. Obviously, I'm not engaged, but how pretty is it just like on my ring finger or I can move it to my middle finger. All their stuff is hypoallergenic. It's such good quality. I'm freaking in love. And I have a code. It's just code Shelly for 10% off. I'll put it in the description box, but make sure to use my code. Check them out. They have really great stuff. They also have earrings, necklaces, obviously rings, engagement rings. Like, you name it, they have it. But it's so pretty and so affordable. So make sure you check them out. I will. I'm having a job. <laughs> Y'all, there is a chopped and a kava right next to each other. How does that make sense? Yes, we should. How does that make any sense? Two competitive salad places next to each other. I don't see Lana. She's not here yet. So me and Carolyn are meeting Lana here okay. at Kava. And today is, oh, let me turn this off before I get copyright. Today <laughs> is Cinco de Mayo. And we're not eating Mexican food because we wanted Kava. It's gonna be my second yeah. salad of the day. I had Mexican yesterday. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we had kava for the first time on Lana's bachelorette trip, and I was dying to come to kava again. So here we are. We are meeting Lana here. She should be here soon. Trader Joe's haul. We just ate kava. Went to Trader Joe's. We're on the way home. This is my leftover kava because I didn't eat it all. Okay, this is what I got. I got this organic acai bowl. I am very excited about this, but I don't think these are like packets. I think it's an actual bowl. And I think it comes with like the granola and everything. It was like $30. So I got this. And I just got one of them because I'm just going to try it. And then I got two of these peony blossom hand soaps. So 
<laughs> You're in the background. I am done. You honestly scared me in the background. Did I? Yes. <laughs> when I looked in the camera, I was like, who is in the back was in seat? The car? Yeah. Okay. I got this hand soap. I got it two of these. So good. Yeah. It smells amazing. And then I got this Green Goddess dressing. I got eggs. And we also, oh, we also got flowers. Let's see the flowers. Yeah, I got these hydrangeas. I'm gonna give these to my mom for Mother's Day. And then Carolyn got tulips, right? Yep. Two sets of tulips. We're getting gas and then we're going home. It's 8.40. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. What are you doing tomorrow? Are you doing anything fun this weekend? Huh? Are you doing anything fun this weekend? No. Me either. Okay, I'm just getting home from work. I'm gonna make me an iced coffee because I have not had coffee yet today. I'm so freaking excited right now. I also stopped at Fulon on the way home to get, I just want a little bit. I also stopped at Fulon on the way home to get some salad stuff because I have been like, craving a salad i have no idea why but i've been seeing all these tiktoks of all these really good salads so i got a little bit of salad stuff i was so sad because the avocados at food line were hard as a brick so i didn't get those and i was hoping we had some here whoops but we don't so i'm just gonna wing it this is the coffee sitch I was gonna buy coffee today, but then I was like, you know what? Like, I just need to be on my best behavior and not do that. So I decided to just wait, make one when I got home. Oh my God, that's so good. Have this little ball, and I'm gonna make a quick little salad, or I'm gonna attempt to. So this is what I got at the grocery store, just to make something quick to like feel this little salad craving that i've been having i got this spring mix because i had this kind of lettuce the other day at a restaurant and it was so good i also got an apple because i'm gonna cut this up and probably put it on there i got a lemon to put on there some shredded carrots and then i also got a red onion i really want to try to make pickled onion but just for now i'm just gonna put a little bit of red onion on there lettuce I saw on TikTok that people had these salad choppers from Amazon, which I think I'm going to order because the salads look so much better when everything was like all chopped up and mixed together. I don't have that, so kitchen scissors it is for now. Carrots on there. I'm going to do like some really thin slices of apple. I'm doing really, really small slices of red onion. Okay, this is what it's looking like so far. It's just the red onion, carrot, apple, spring mix, and then I put a little bit of crushed pineapple on it that I found. Really sad that there's no avocado. I feel like that's really what I wanted. Like I want it to be all creamy and stuff, but I'm a little nervous, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. I'm trying to figure out the dressing still. I'm about to make a really random dressing with what I see people use a lot on TikTok. To make dressing so i'm going to use some olive oil some honey some vinegar and i bought this a little bit ago creamy ginger dressing from pf chains i'm just going to use a little bit of that this stuff is really strong but i really like it but i just use it really lightly and then i'm just going to put salt and pepper maybe a little garlic powder and i was thinking about putting that in it from trader joe's we'll see how this works i'm a little nervous i'm winging this entire thing okay so olive oil lemon juice a little bit of apple cider vinegar maybe like that much i'm gonna put a little bit of honey some of this pf chang's ginger dressing I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I could be whipping up something that's absolutely disgusting. Okay, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Oh my God, that was a lot. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this. Okay, that is enough. Let me get a fork. Is anything hot up here? I cannot wait to come home and shower. I have not washed my hair in like five days and it looks horrible. But this is my final 
salad my final product it looks so freaking good it looks so fresh i am so excited to try it i've been mixing it up making sure it's all well combined let's try some ready It's really good. It's really, really good. Wow, I'm a chef. Mmm. Yum. I love the dressing. It actually worked out. I'm very happy. I'm a chef. And I officially love salads. I feel like if you know me, you know I'm really not a salad girl unless it's like a perfect salad. Not that this is perfect. It could use some avocado. But you know, I'm not going to complain because for the ingredients that I had on hand in the fridge, it was pretty good. And slash like what I bought at Food Line. It's really good. I'm burning my favorite candle right now and I'm trying to like let this burn for a while because apparently if you blow it out too early it doesn't melt down all that other stuff so I'm gonna try to be patient but I am about to clean my room it's an absolute disaster it really doesn't look that bad but I need to like wash my sheets and everything there's a pile of crap over here that I've got to take care of so I'm gonna go ahead and try to tackle this thank you guys for watching this vlog and I will see y'all in my next one.